Hello, it's Scott Manley here with a quick guide on how to back up your old versions of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, because sometimes when upgrades happen, you find that certain mods break, or you find perhaps in this case that your save game file may not in fact successfully upgrade or to the new version. So what you want to be doing is essentially copying the old contents of your Steam folder somewhere else so that all the mods are kept safe and sound and ready to spring back into action and not realizing that there is a new version out there. Because Steam, of course, uses its own private directory. Now, if you go into Properties and you, you can look in the Local Files directory to browse the local files and that will be where your local files are. So you can basically, you know, come in select the whole directory or actually and then copy that then you need to come up with a place to put it say the games directory new folder kerbal 2 oh, 0.20 then drop it in there and that's it just copy it use a control c to copy it but there's an important thing to, that you might want to know if you're watching this after the release of point two one, and you want to back up all your different um, all your different mods. You want to back up your saves. Although there is a save file converter, maybe it's not going to work because it doesn't understand some mod or whatever. If you've a point two one has already been released, you have to go into properties and you need to downgrade it first. Now, if you look under properties, there is the betas tab, and none means you'll get the current release, right? Previous is what you want to do if you want to get the previous version, if you've, pr if you've updated and then you found some mod doesn't work. Now at this point, the Steam is going to start copying things over from the network. So there you go, you see, it's going to start copying that down. Then when that is back to 100%, that is when you then look at local content and copy it over and you'll have a backup of the previous release as well. So that should cover you for everything. Obviously once you've done this you want to switch back to the back to the current release and yeah if you're wondering the experimental branches as mentioned there that's only for certain people you can't get into that unless you're part of the testing group or if you're a, a media developer or something like that. Anyway um, I hope that's useful. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.